Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and we're gonna be changing our clutch cable on this twin cam soft tail. Most twin cams, if you have a cable actuated clutch, is gonna be very, 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 very similar install. So the first thing we're gonna do is loosen it up here, take it loose from up here, and then we have to take it loose from the transmission cover on the right side of the bike. Now to do that on most bikes, you're gonna to have to remove your exhaust to get to that transmission end cover to get your clutch cable out of there. So everybody's exhaust is gonna come off similar, but a little bit different. So your exhaust um, install uh, may be a little bit different than ours, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. Just so you know up front, a couple of things you're gonna need. You're gonna need some transmission fluid and you're gonna need a new gasket for the end of your transmission. So just so you know up front, make sure you order those when you order your clutch cable. Some fluid and a gasket, because you're gonna lose a little bit when you take your end cover off. So we need to get our clutch cable loose from our lever up top. So we're gonna put a bunch of slack in it. Underneath here is the adjuster. So we're gonna put a bunch of slack in this cable so it'll come loose and we can unhinge it from up here. So you need a half inch and a 9 16 to get this loose. Break that nut loose, then screw this adjuster all the way up so there's no threads left and that'll put all the slack in the cable. Okay, so we have a ton of slack in our cable now. This is gonna let us take this, pull this loose out of this housing. But now, we have to come around back here, pop the little retaining clip off of our pin for our level, or for our lever, so the whole thing will slide out. Um, snap ring pliers is what you're gonna need. If you don't have a set of snap ring pliers, you can do it with a small screwdriver just uh, try not to booger up your clip there. Go ahead and pull this little plastic stud out. That'll take our clutch cable loose. Now we're gonna unwind it kind of through the frame of the bike. Pay attention on the routing because you're gonna want to route your other one back through here. Then we'll take the exhaust off, get to the transmission end cover where we can take the other end loose. Okay, we got our exhaust off, cable's loose at the top, we cut all of our zip ties. Now we gotta take the transmission end cover off. Like I said, you are gonna lose some fluid out of here. Once we get the transmission end cover off, we'll go ahead and pull the cable out of the housing. Okay, inside here is your little pull mechanism and we're gonna have to take this big snap ring out right here and it's pretty, it's pretty taut so you're really gonna need to probably use snap ring pliers. It's not a great idea to use a screwdriver on this because this has to slide basically around in a 180 to come off there to get this off of the cable. Then we'll take a 9 16 and unscrew this. Once we get that ring out of there, be careful when you take this apart. This works on a ball and ramp system, and these three ball bearings in here are just loose in there. If they fall out, it's not that big a deal. Clean them up and set them back in these grooves. Really, you don't need to take them out if you can help it. So to get the clutch cable off, we're just gonna swing this around so this open area lines up with the clutch cable tip, and then we'll slide the clutch cable off. So now what we need to do is we're gonna take a 9 16 we're gonna unthread this out of our transmission cover. But remember, if you spin this transmission cover, these little ball bearings and the other part of this ball and ramp mechanism is gonna come out. So if you're gonna spin the clutch cover, take that out. But all that has to go back in there the same way. It's got a little tab on it and a little groove, so it only fits in there one way.
we're gonna clean this up a little bit, clean up our gasket area here. We'll go ahead and put our new gasket on the transmission now so we don't forget. And then we'll get the clutch cable threaded into here. It doesn't have to be super tight. Make sure you get your little O-ring on that there. And then once that's all threaded in there, we'll hook it back up to our ball and ramp mechanism. This is kind of a fine thread right here. It can be a little bit difficult to start, so just be patient and don't cross thread it. bottom part of our ball and ramp back in there. But I figured I'd kind of show you guys how this works. This is a ball and ramp mechanism here. And when your cable, when you pull, when you pull your lever, your cable gets pulled this way and it moves this whole assembly like this, which then expands and pushes on this little unit here, which pushes the clutch open on the other side. When you go to put this back together, you may have a lot of pressure here and you may need to go and take some of the pressure off on the other side. And I'll put the link in the description to the clutch adjustment video that will show you how to uh, make that adjustment on the other side. The other really important thing is to make sure you get this set right. If you set it like this, you're not gonna have enough throw. This needs to be set all the way over here like that. So put the cable on there. You really, this only kind of goes together one way, so you can't mess that part up. You want to make sure the bearings where they're supposed to be in here and then like I said make sure you get the right positioning when you put this together this little arm needs to be all the way back there now we're gonna put our big c-clip back in the groove that can be a little tedious just make sure you get it in there and then we'll put the cover back on the end of here torque everything down and we'll be ready to make our clutch adjustment which like I said I'll put that link in the description Okay, so we're ready to put the transmission and cover back on. We're gonna clean this up, throw some blue Loctite on our screws. And we're gonna to torque these to anywhere from 132 to 153 inch pounds. Very important, you don't do foot pounds, you'll blow all these screws out. 132 to 153 inch pounds. We'll do it in a crisscross pattern so we get everything nice and snug evenly. And then we'll go back up, put our lever back on and get everything in adjustment. We've got our clutch cable routed through here. We're gonna put it back on our lever and reattach everything. It's worth noting that the clutch cable we're putting on here is actually too long for this bike and these handlebars. The reason we're changing this clutch cable is gonna, we're gonna put larger handlebars on it, but everything on the install should work exactly the same. So grab our clutch cable here, slide the uh, loop through here. We have our little plastic peg. It slides right in there like that. We want to make sure we have all the slack we can in the cable. So run your adjuster up so there's hardly any threads or no thread showing here. You want it as loose as you can, putting it back together up here so you're not binding anything up. And we're just going to run the end of it in there. You can see how much slack we have. That's good. Then this is going to slide 
Once we get these sitting in here, once we take the slack out later, this will pull tight in here. Right now we want to put our pin back through here and put our little C-clip back on the bottom. So our cable's officially on. All we have to do is adjust our cable and put our exhaust back on. I'll put a link in the description on our clutch adjustment video and everybody's exhaust install is gonna vary just a little bit. Make sure you use new exhaust gaskets when you put those exhausts back on. If you like what you see here, tell your friends, please subscribe to us and go work on those motorcycles.